Welcome back here, everyone. So, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Well, actually, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. The second movie after the Miles Morales Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Which I saw, I thought was actually really good. Which I thought was really well done. I enjoyed it. You know, um, second movie is coming out. I've done a few videos on it. I've talked about how they have blatantly race swapped spider woman in it you know now she's black and pregnant a black pregnant spider woman okay the whole spider verse thing has been overused in comics to my to my my liking spider-man has become the most underutilized character there is because not everybody's a spider person so the original spider-man just isn't you know special anymore it's just wrong but that's what they're promoting that's what they're doing so we have the spider-man across the spider-verse we got a new trailer for it and of course because it is hollywood they have to go out of their way to promote some dangerous disturbing ideological nonsense that needs to stop when they were originally going to be doing the whole um, Iron Heart series, which Disney has now, um, you know, delayed possibly inevitably because you know possibly indefinitely. Sorry, because we know how that's going, right? One of the actors for the um, thing was some trans actor who went out talking about um, trans kids and all kind of thing, and I came out very clearly in that video and I said there is no such thing. And I'll say that again, there is no such thing as a trans kid. Nothing like that exists. There never has been, there never will be. And because these people need to keep pushing this disturbed narrative down your throat and act like you're supposed to somehow join in on their madness, this is what they keep doing. Well, in this latest trailer now, they're trying to promote the same nonsense once again, and they've been called out on it. Get into this article here, and I will give you my thoughts on it. Sony Pictures, this is from um, Bowling Into Comics. Sony Pictures promotes child mutilation in latest trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse with Protect Trans Kids flag. This is the flag in question in the corner here. Understand me, this is it. Sony Pictures Entertainment's latest trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse promoted gender affirmation and child mutilation with a protect trans kids flag prominently displayed. At the 2 minute and 3 second mark of the trailer, Gwen Stacy's Spider-Gwen appears to be sitting in her room contemplating losing her friend Miles Morales. In her room above the door is a transgender flag that reads protect trans kids. Right? Now this is the flag here as I mentioned before. This is the C. Now, let me just take a moment here to say something. Now, let me just, let me just say this. So. What? Now I, I want to be perfectly honest with you. I don't hate anybody. I have no problem with anybody. What you choose to do as an adult and don't choose to live your life, that's your business. I don't have to agree with it, I don't have to like it, but you a free word, you are free to do as you please. I don't hate anybody, I'm not going to go out on the street and, and put it in that, no. You're free to do as you please as long as you don't hurt anybody else, that's your business. But there has to be a point where somebody has to come out and say, this kind of shit needs to stop. I mean, what is so inherently wrong with a person? That you would think that somehow trying to indoctrinate children, children, into your sick line of thought is somehow acceptable. You are literally promoting the mutilation of children. No, and make, make, make no mistake, that, that is exactly what it is. Mutilation of children. Because... You cannot, because children don't have the, the, the way with all the things to consent to this. And you see countless videos out there of, of, of people coming and talking about how they regret doing this, how they regret their family and all this madness. 
because you all want to want to warp children's mind and then have them go and undertake these surgeries that change them forever all these double mastectomies and all kind of madness and then act like somehow it's it's normal i mean there are certain there are certain things you could take like, that changes a woman's voice her voice will get deeper so even if she decides you know what i don't want to do this anymore no her voice remains like that and you're out here telling people that this is somehow okay and acceptable. I even saw somebody make this rather ridiculously stupid comment. You understand? I mean, a really stupid comment. It was the one that said that, oh, oh, uh, what? Oh, trans kids exist, but they don't know that they exist yet. What kind of idiotic thing is that to say? So what? So what? Your job, your job is to make sure that they know they exist. These are children. Children just want to play, have fun, enjoy yourself. That is it. When you are an adult and you can and, and you have the wherewithal to, to, to to think and make your own decisions, you do what you want to do. If you regret it afterwards, that's your business. You are you are an adult. You will stand the consequences. But do not, do not drag children into this madness. That is where the line needs to be drawn. But because of this, of this literal social decay and this rot that we are, that we are sitting back and somehow happily allowing, literally, literally happily allowing into our homes, into schools, into models, and, and, and acting like you know this is somehow okay and we should all be happy about that job and sin. Really, no. These are children, for God's sakes. Children. And you are out here doing this. I mean, you had you had um you had Victoria Alonso at the Glad Awards going off on this mad rant about, uh, about, uh, about, uh, about the Florida bill, which is not which is not the don't say gay bill. What the bill is about is not teaching children as young as kindergarten and up about all kind of sexual or additional kind of that, that that is grooming that is sick me here that is grooming children and you all are sitting there acting like this is something people are supposed to be celebrating why in god's name would you do that as an adult you free to do as you please but there is no such thing as a trans kid there are children who just want to enjoy themselves and have fun and live their life. And then there are these sick individuals out there who tell themselves, you know what? If we could get the children when they're young to start thinking in the same way that we are thinking, the same thing, they kind of moral disorder, they just destroy entertainment and whatever on the whole. We could be good. Let's go after the children and all that is nonsense. No, that does not happen. A trans child is about us. Likely I'll see an upside down, double, backwards, flip, nine, nine, all the rainbow. It doesn't happen. That's not, that's not what it is. None of these things actually, don't actually exist. But you're out here trying to promote this using literal subliminal messaging in movies to act like this is somehow good. And when other movies actually make more people, because people don't want these things in there, they don't want their children exposed to this kind of stuff. And when you're all too woke and have so, such little comments and such little regard for your own lives, God forbid anybody else's, this is what you do. And you act like for some reason, like, like everybody's supposed to somehow love the idea and love the idea, and you're just pushing this crap at them. This is not what you put into a movie. This is not what you try to promote. This is promoting child mutilation. That is what it is. You are mutilating children. That's what you're doing. And you're up and you're in a movie, put the number of flag, protect trans kids. That there's no such thing as a trans kid. Stop promoting child mutilation. This is sick behavior. Very, very sick me, even then you want me to seriously stop this shit. But many things just tend to piss me off when you see us on the world on these roads, but this is where I have a problem with it because you are trying to indoctrinate children into this behavior and it's it's coming and never over any place. You find it in schools. 
I did that video not too long ago about, about that insane teacher who was who was using Mario, using Super Mario Brother characters to push some disturbed sexual orientation lesson. And that woman, that woman is that teacher. What does that say? So this kind of shit just needs to stop, people. It needs to stop. It needs to. It, it, it is wrong. It's sick. It's demonic. Stop it. Who are your thoughts on this in the comments? Have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, you should hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. And if I don't I put out a new video. I shall see you all next time. Take care.